now, Fillmore. Today's episode, To Mar a Stall, Act One, Flushed Innocence. And now, if you'll follow me, I'll turn you over to the president of the ex-middle school bathroom steering committee, Robin Spencer. By the time an ex-middle school student graduates, he or she will use the school bathroom facilities an average of 432 times. And with the addition of a self-serve taco buffet in the cafetorium, our studies indicate that we may see that number increase by as much as 12% over the next two years. Each and every one of X Middle School's newly remodeled bathrooms features state-of-the-art motion sensors, heated toilet seats, automatic TP dispensers, and even high-pressure bidets. But heck, don't take my word for it. Take a look for yourselves at the new pride of X Middle School. <gasps> no. No! Stainless? Someone called the safety patrol. No! Hey, can we get these motion sensors shut off before O'Farrell drowns me? Could you please stop referring to me in the third person? I'm standing right here. Stainless. Very catchy. A painting crew finished up in here around lunch yesterday. They propped open the door for ventilation. It was open all night. So we could be anybody. Listen, I'm going fishing with my dad this weekend. The last thing I need is this stainless headache messing up my fly cast. So, talk to me here, people. Stainless's weapons of choice are red, black, and green permanent markers. It's the same brand supplied to the school. Pretty much untraceable. O'Farrell and I spent the morning curled up with our file of known taggers. No matches. Stainless must be new on the block. These graffiti scrawlers don't stop at just one. Now, Principal Folsom wants this stainless caught before he does any more redecorating. What about the tags themselves? The color, lettering style? There must be some sort of expert we can show them to. An art teacher, maybe? We could show them to Randall Julian. Randall the Vandal? Isn't he serving indefinite detention out by the athletic field? No way he helps us. You guys got a better lead? Do it. Fillmore, I'm new, remember? A little info, please. Who's Randall the Vandal? Randall Julian was one of the greatest art students in the history of our school. His macaroni collages took top honors all over the state. But then something went wrong. He dropped the Mac and glue sticks and picked up a permanent marker. He became a tagger. Not just a tagger, the tagger. Flavor saver. The best or the worst, depending on how you flip the pancake. Randall Julian tagged every bathroom in the school except one. The bathroom in the teacher's lounge. We caught him before he could put that final stroke on his masterpiece. You were the one that caught him, weren't you? Well, he should be thrilled to see you again. I'll need you to check in all writing instruments. Any ink, ink cartridges, pen refills, pencil leads, nibs, quills, chalk, crayons, charcoal, wax pencils. Any interior, exterior paint, spray paint, finger paint, poster paint, model paint, paint balls, paint brushes, airbrushes. Eyeliner, lipstick, mascara. Hey, me neither. Aha. Uh -huh. Follow me. Mr. Randall Julian is in what we call a permanent state of detention. His parents drop him off into our custody in the morning and pick him up again in the afternoon. His classes are piped into him via closed-circuit TV. He currently maintains an A-plus average. You may find our security measures extreme, but I assure you they are necessary. On November 3rd of this year, a custodian entered Mr. Julian's holding area with a miniature golf pencil in his back pocket. It took Mr. Julian ten minutes to do this to the east wall. Dog. Hold up. He did that with a miniature golf pencil? I'll buzz you in. All right, class. So all A plus B equals C, you guys. Next class. Cornelius Fillmore, you have a new partner. Randall Julian, meet Ingrid Third. Charmed. Uninspired, unemotional, uninteresting, unimportant. We didn't come here for an art critique, Julian. 
Of course not. You want me to help you catch him? Why should I? We could talk to the higher-ups. Knock some time off your detention. What? You give up all this? We came here because we thought you might want another chance. Looks like we were wrong. Your stainless right from right to left. What? The English language, as I'm sure you are aware, is written from left to right. Stainless does his tags backwards, right to left. You can tell by the overlay of his letters. Why does he write from right to left? No, I think that would be too easy. When you figure it out for yourselves, come back and see me. Maybe I'll tell you more. I don't get it. Why would an artist with Julian's talent turn to scrawling on bathroom walls? Third, leave that stuff to the guidance counselors. If you want to see a real work of art, take a look at this. It's a 309 Waterman 452 Flex Rod 680. Fourth edition. Endorsed by six-time fly champion, Dale Rondell. A fishing pole. My fishing pole. My dad ordered it from fee fi fo fin dot world It should be arriving here any day now. And I'd like to put stainless away so I can enjoy it. Do some digging. Maybe this whole thing isn't about tagging. Maybe someone has a grudge against this whole bathroom renovation project. Ugh, here's the last of them. Are you really reading those? Photographic memory. You know, I begged the committee to use brushed steel for stalls. It's a well-known fact that brushed steel is almost impossible to deface. <sighs> but they had to ignore me. Brushed steel would have looked so sweet. Instead of that inky nightmare. Here's something. When the bathroom renovation project was approved, the steering committee was moved into this office and a small club was thrown out. It was an alternative art club. The Starving Renoirs. Disco. Artist with the grudge. The club only has three members. Frankie Polk, founder and president. You must have been upset when you lost the space for your club. No, not really. I find offices to be creatively confining. The only thing that truly upsets me is the lack of beauty around us. I call it the interrogation of self. Tommy Howard, club treasurer. Forget the whole stainless scene, man. Check out this noise. You don't get it do you? You just see a dot, right? It's not just a dot. You know what I'm saying? It's 700 coats of black marker. You know what I'm saying? It's like the layers of the human soul. Let's get back to stainless. Oh, sure. He's in the spotlight getting all the headlines. You know what I'm saying? Where's my slice? I gotta be known. I gotta be recognized. I ain't going out like Charles Lasky. You know what I'm saying? Who's Charles Lasky? That's what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? Last is Jean Grace, recording secretary. I want you to know that this clay is made from oatmeal hummus and unshelled buckwheat. Let's get back to the bathrooms. I can't help you there. I don't believe in indoor plumbing, and I have never set foot in a school bathroom. I always go out uh, to the... Don't even want to know. No more, Ingrid. You might want to get up here. I've got something. Check it out. The ink flow on this section of the tag drops off 72%. What could cause that? Only one thing. His red marker had to spring a leak, probably from the rear of the pen. That marker's permanent, right? Whoever Stainless is, there's a good chance he's walking around with a red marker stain somewhere on his hand or wrist. It also means our boy Stainless might need a refill. Tommy Howard, T-O-M- Give us some room here, people. 
If you just sign off on this invoice, we can start ordering the new stalls. No need, Robin. Graffiti Gus guy is out of business now. Hey, lighten up. You'll wrinkle. He's coming! Folsom's so happy, she didn't even mention the $700 worth of office supplies you trashed. But don't worry, she will. Is that for me? Got your name on it. Beautiful. You just keep your elbows in, eyes focused on the target. Life is but a dream. <laughs> Very funny, people. Hilarious. Hold up. Are these the markers Tommy tried to clip? Yeah, I bagged them myself. Oh, no. I know that look in your eye, Fillmore. I don't like Tommy for stainless. Don't do this to me, Fillmore. Stainless would have been looking for a red refill. These markers are black. The same black Tommy was using on a 700-layer masterpiece. Plus, there were no red stains on Tommy's hands or wrists. You see what I got here? A signed confession from Tommy Howard. Tommy wanted attention. He wanted to be known. Now he is. Okay, stay on it. But keep it quiet. Hard to believe a guy would smear his own name like that just to get some attention. Smear? Crackers. That's it. Check this out. A marker leaves a wet residue. Right-handed people don't have to worry about smearing it. But a left-handed person has a tendency to drag their hand over the area they just wrote. Unless... Unless the person writes backwards. Writes left. Stainless is left-handed. That's what Julian was telling us. Excellent work, officers. Yeah, Julian. Too bad 15% of the school is left-handed. So many suspects and so little time. Stainless is no doubt scouting out his next bathroom while you're wasting your time talking to me. These are all 14 of the newly renovated bathrooms. Which one is next, Julian? I can't read your Stainless's mind. Now can I? Look at the pictures, Julian. Which one would you hit? You have nothing to lose by helping us. I have nothing to gain. Nothing to gain, huh, Julian? How about access to art supplies? All under strict supervision, of course. You can be a real artist again, Julian. Think about it. I placed first in seven consecutive art fairs. Sure, it brought me a small following, but then, as I began to place lower, that following began to shrink. Sure, the fans I had left were devoted, but I wanted more. I wanted to be immortal. And I found a way to do it, as Flava Saver. And now, now Randall Julian, the artist, is merely a fading memory. For those few that even remember him. It's this one. Alright, I got one. Would you rather eat a two-month-old mac and cheese, or a spider meringue pie? Gotta go with the vintage mac. That's an easy one. Your turn. Squirrel burger or a bag of potting soil? Mmm, I'll take the soil. Fillmore, Ingrid, we got a suspect heading your way. Thanks, Tahama. We're on it. It's Frankie Polk, and he's heading into the girls' bathroom. Don't forget to wash your hands, Frankie. Yes! I draw toilets, beautiful toilets, the perfect marriage of form and function, of style and substance, of water and porcelain. Looks like a wrong number, guys. <laughs> Do us a favor, Frankie. Stick to drawing in the boys' bathrooms. Of course, officers. I was merely trying to capture the... <gasps> Fillmore, this is still wet. Red-handed. 
Listen, Vallejo. I just had to sign for Tommy's release and okay the ordering of 200 brand new brushed steel bathroom stalls. You don't have this stain hoodlum in custody by final bell. This headquarters will make a nice faculty yoga studio. Randall Julian was right before. Go back and talk to him. He's gone! He's gone! Randall Julian has escaped! Officers. Julian. Please, call me Flavor. Flavor Saver. We had a deal, Julian. Access to art supplies in exchange for helping us catch Stainless. I've got all the supplies I'm going to need to ensure that this school never forgets me. So long, officers. But don't fret. I left you a parting gift. There's nothing in here. It's just an old copy of the school paper. You see what I see? Robin Spencer is cutting that ribbon with her left hand. And she's wearing a glove. Disco. Robin Spencer put in a motion to install her brushed steel stalls 43 times. And like she said, they ignored her. What better way to prove the anti-graffiti stalls were necessary than to vandalize the bathrooms herself? A stainless. As in, the stainless steel stalls she wanted. According to this shipping invoice, Robin's new stalls are arriving at the school loading dock right now. Those are going to the H-Wing restrooms by the greenhouse. Good old brush steel. You're gonna take me to the top. Oh, I've wanted you so badly. How badly? Badly enough to vandalize the original stalls yourself? I... I, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I think you do. I think you couldn't handle it when your brush steel stalls got shot down. I think you wanted to prove that anti-graffiti stalls were necessary. I think you became stainless. That's ridiculous! You don't have a shred of proof! We do now. Uh, uh, uh. Tama, we need backup. I'm going to be known as the student that put an end to graffiti once and for all. So what if I had to deface a few stalls to do it? This is just the beginning. Student council president, valedictorian, best dressed in the yearbook, the sky's the limit. And everyone will know the name Robin Spencer. No, Robin. It all ends here. Sorry, officer, but I'm afraid Stainless is going to make a clean getaway. <laughs> Fillmore! Host fishing rod. Keep your elbows in. Focus on the target, baby. Uh, I'd say you two wrap this case up rather nicely. Bubble wrap, that is. Get it? It's basically a play on the word wrap. What's going on? Tell me you got stainless. Right here, Chief. Looks like I'm gonna be able to fish in peace after all. What? What is it? Velma! Principal Folsom isn't sure whether to give you guys a commendation or to give you detention. On the one hand, you put stainless away. But on the other hand, you destroyed an entire shipment of brushed steel stalls. You ruined a month's supply of macaroni. And you allowed the most notorious graffiti vandal in the history of the school to escape. Randall Julian's loose out there, and no one knows where he'll strike next. Hey, Julian. Fillmore. I should have known. You were the only one who ever understood. No, I don't understand. I don't understand how someone with your talent can just flush it away. Stay back. I only have to touch the tip of this marker to the stall, and my masterpiece is complete. That's not a masterpiece, Julian. That's just noise. Anybody can scrawl a stall. But they still have a few of your macaroni collages hanging in the library. You want to know why? Because those pieces moved people. Jay, 
They still move people, man. Is that why the judges at the county art fair placed my art third, placed my art fourth, placed my art honorable mention? This, this is beyond judgment. No one can ignore this. Oh, so that's how it's going to be. Get attention any way you can, right or wrong. Then why don't you go ahead and write your real name? Don't hide behind some flavor saber tag. Why don't you go ahead and write Randall Julian? Fine, Fillmore. I will. I will. No, I don't think you will. Because then everybody will know the score. There was this real artist who gave up touching some of the people to hurt all of the people. Because he wanted to be famous. Because he forgot what real art was all about. Just expressing yourself for the sake of expressing yourself. Welcome back, Randall. You don't happen to know where I can get my hands on some macaroni, do you? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I do. <laughs> 